so i'll be showing you laboratory preparation of oxygen so over here i have a flat bottom flask in that i have put a two hole stopper in which passes the thistle funnel and a delivery tube the delivery tube passes into the trough where there is a beehive shell so i will take this gas jar and fill it with water as you know that oxygen gas is collected by downward displacement of water so what we do we fill the gas jar with water put a lid on the top and then we will invert the gas jar on in the trough so first what we do this is manganese dioxide mno2 i will be placing this inside the flat bottom flask so first i will take out the cork from the flask and then i will take a spatula of manganese dioxide you can see that it is a black powder this will work as our catalyst it will increase the rate of reaction but will not take part in the reaction so as much you add it will not get consumed so a little quantity also is sufficient to facilitate the reaction so now i have placed the cork back now i will be pouring hydrogen peroxide from the thistle funnel so this is hydrogen peroxide 6% since this is dilute it will react much slower than the laboratory red hydrogen peroxide you can see according to, to the reaction hydrogen peroxide decomposes into water and oxygen here manganese dioxide acts as a catalyst you can see the the bubbles inside the flat bottom flask that means our reaction has started and you can also see that some bubbles are coming out of the delivery tube this is mostly air so first we let out some bubbles go out and then place the gas jar on top of the beehive shelf to collect our oxygen by downward displacement of water since oxygen is very slightly soluble in water we can collect it conven conveniently by downward displacement of water now this will take some time to fill the gas jar i just touched the flask and it appeared warmer because this reaction is exothermic reaction which means that heat is generated in this reaction therefore the flask gets hot so now our gas jar is full and i will take out the gas jar with the lid so that our oxygen does not escapes out and until and uh, i am also filling a test tube with the oxygen gas so i will take out the test tube which has oxygen cover it with the lid and then keep it aside for some time now to show you the test of oxygen i will take a burning splinter extinguish it to blow out the flame and insert the glowing splint inside the test tube with oxygen gas and you can see that it rekindles this is the test for oxygen now for another de demonstration what i am doing i am taking some sulfur in a deflagrated spoon and when it it starts burning i will insert it into a gas jar which is filled with oxygen gas and you can see that sulfur starts burning more brightly it gives off a bright blue flame in an atmosphere of oxygen in air it burns with a pale blue flame to show that sulfur dioxide is acidic gas i am taking a blue litmus paper and placing inside the gas jar and you can see sulfur burns in oxygen to produce sulfur dioxide gas which dissolves in water to give sulfurous acid therefore it turns blue litmus paper red 
since this gas is fairly soluble in water so i took out the solution and you can see it turned blue litmus paper red which confirms that it is sulfurous acid now again i am demonstrating you the same experiment sulfur burning in pure oxygen like share comment and subscribe to my channel i upload videos every tuesday